Do you want to come out with clothing but you're not sure how? Well, I'm gonna show you the whole process while also talking about some of the mistakes I made. Keep on watching. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mahua and I'm so excited that you're back and ready to learn about the whole process with manufacturing and coming up with your own line. It is kind of difficult, but I am going to try my best to simplify it for you. And I have been literally vlogging this since the beginning of May 2021 and I have so much footage about the whole process so I'm so excited to teach you guys you know as I've been learning myself this was also my first time selling art this way I usually do drop shipping and I've been doing that for over a year now but I decided that I want to do everything on my own terms I want to oversee everything I want to get you know legit manufacturers ethical manufacturers and so I'm really just gonna bring you guys along so the first thing to making t-shirts or designs or anything in general for apparel you have to know what design you want to do right so the design that I've been wanting to do is related to countries, is related to culture. So that means I have to make all of the designs very accurate. I want them to be perfect basically. I don't want there to be any mistakes. And I want people to actually feel represented and, and glad when they see the designs, right? So that meant I had to do a lot of research. And I also had to reach out to all of my friends that were from those countries and ask them so many questions regarding it, right? Obviously this doesn't apply to if you're doing just like simple line work or something that doesn't apply to different countries where you have to get it accurate. If it's like a simple skull design, you can just do that or like, you know, find a picture that relates to that. But for me, I had to make sure everything was accurate. So that meant I texted my friends, I researched on Pinterest for months, and yeah, that was a pretty long process. So once you pass the stage of actually thinking about what design you want to do, you have to actually design the product, right? So if you guys don't know, I use Procreate for all of my drawings. I do everything digitally. But there's actually a lot of factors that you have to think about. This was the, the biggest portion of my whole manufacturing journey. It took so long to come up with six designs, I believe, seven designs. You also have to figure out if you want to do a rectangular design or if you want it to be a square design. You have to think about how many colors you can use because a lot of companies, the more colors you use, the more money it is. You have to figure out what color you want the apparel to be. If you have black line work in your design, then that usually you usually don't have to put that because your t-shirt's already black so you don't have to put a black line work so you have so many factors that you have to think about right my whole process of drawing started in may i did not finish until about july so that took about two plus months and it takes up a lot of time a lot of energy there's a lot of rep revisions so it is currently july 6th Sorry, I'm listening to Disney music while I'm doing some art. So when I'm making designs, I go through this phase where I ask my close friends for their opinions on the pieces to see if they like it, if they'd wear it on their own, you know, if it weren't for me, if it weren't me that, that who made it. Um, you know, I just ask for their opinion just so I can get some critical feedback. Um, so, so far, I've been working on it for like a month, a few weeks, three weeks. And I've only done one so far, and that's India. So this is what the Made in Bangladesh one looked like, without the text, obviously. And, um, yeah, we didn't like it, so... There's something about it that we didn't like. It felt like it was missing something. It didn't look too collage -y. The colors were off. By the way, I can only pick four colors, because the more colors I pick, the uh, more money it is when I print it. So anyways, something was off. So now I'm redoing it, and hopefully it becomes better. And this is such a long process, I literally forgot how long it took to like make design. You also have to think about what kind of uh, material you want the design to be on. If it's cotton, a lot of designs usually do pop on it, but if it's like polyester or something else, you have to really think about that and think about what colors can I put in my design that will pop on a white shirt or will pop on a black shirt, you know? So you really gotta think about all that beforehand because it's hard to actually make it work once the design is done. After you design it, after you research what you want in your design, the third step is obviously to find manufacturers and wholesalers. What wholesalers are is basically you have to find a company or a website that sells you all of these apparel for cheaper, which then you can put your own designs on it and then sell it, right? Um, a lot of websites that are out there are um, there's Alibaba, there's Jiffy Shirts, there's Gildan, there's Blank Shirts, 
and I'll link all of them down below but there's a lot of websites that you can find where you can just find you know and like blank t-shirts or apparel online you could just bring it to your house and then you can deliver it to the other manufacturer that you want to make them right what i would recommend is honestly to go to actual stores so you can feel the material you can see the colors because it's so hard to see online what you're actually paying for and if you order a whole bunch of things like if you spend like over a thousand dollars on apparel and then you get it and you don't like it like what are you gonna do you can actually have to work with it right so i really recommend actually going into places if you have any um, nearby just go to those places to see what they actually are in real life if you can't do that obviously go to the online option all right so ami and i we're here in westbury long island because i'm checking out my first manufacturer she claims that it's closed right it's, it's closed. There's a closed there's sign a, up front. There's a closed sign out front, but it's not so big. And also, they said that they're open on Mondays, so I'm hopeful that it's gonna open. So I might record you and embarrass. She's literally about to embarrass herself. <laughs> they're on a short break. They're gonna be back. So it's hot. This is a whole ass like textbook. Holy shit. We just finished with our first manufacturer. She um, stayed with me that whole hour of him talking to us, but it was nice. We like saw different fabrics and things that I never even accounted for. We realized that sweatpants and sweatshirts are hard to make. It's hard to make matching sets because there's a lot of factors that go into it. So we'll keep looking. After that, you have to get manufacturers. So the manufacturers are the people that actually make the designs for you. And honestly, the manufacturer I used was not the best. I'll make a whole separate video on that, on how they kind of screwed me over. But basically, you have to do a lot of research on the manufacturer I used because this is probably the biggest place that you will put all your money in and all your investments in because you know, you're trusting them with all of your designs and making the screen printing and the embroidery and everything coming to life. So you have to really research on this. Luckily for me, actually no, I wasn't lucky at all. I, for the first place that I went to, I went in person. That place I could not work with because they actually have a lot of trouble with doing matching sets. So I wanted sweatshirts and sweatpants and they aren't able to do that because it's really hard to do matching sets. So something else that you have to pay attention to is that if you want to do matching stuff, it's really hard to find companies that use the same colored dye for each thing. So for example, if I want like a teal sweatshirt and a matching sweatpants with it, it's really hard to find the same shade of teal because companies usually don't make it with the same dye. So for me, I did black on black and I got lucky because the things ended up matching. But even with black, it's sometimes hard to find the exact same black with that matching sweatshirt or sweatpants. So the first company didn't work out. Then I reached out to so many more. I went weeks and months with emailing and I finally found one. Once again, not the best, I will not recommend it. Guys, I just got multiple packages my mom claimed and I'm pretty sure it's one of the apparels, either the t-shirts or the sweatpants or the sweatshirts that I order. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys and open it. And this is literally my first time ever getting, getting like any packages like this because I haven't done this before. So I'm gonna go and get it now. Also, look at my cat sleeping. I was gonna go to the gym today, but I guess I don't have to. I'm out of breath. But look, there's freaking five boxes here. All right, so now that I have these boxes, the biggest thing for me is to check the fabric of the materials that I got since my first time, and second, to see how matchy matchy the sweatpants and the sweatshirt is. So, these are the sweatpants, loving it so far. It's drawstring on the bottom, you can roll it up if you want. The sweatpants look good, I really like them. Oh, my nail just came off. My nail, my full nail just came off. So the question is, do they match? Yeah. It looks like they match actually. <laughs> So, I'm actually really happy because I thought that the dye, because usually they don't make sweatpants and sweatshirts in the same, um, like, they make it in the same company, but they don't make it together. So the dyes are sometimes off, even if they're black. 
but they actually look pretty matching so i'm happy i'm happy all right look at this like it's literally becoming real all of my hard work over the past three months this shit is real like it's happening like i just have to like design it now and put the embroidery and everything on it that's freaking crazy And basically what they did was they did the embroidery, they did the screen printing. You have to really just give them all of the dimensions, all of the designs that you have. You have to convert it to vector sometimes instead of PNG. You have to pick out the thread colors that you want. You have to pick out the, the screen printing colors that you want. And there's a really huge process with this because obviously they also want it to look, look like your vision so you have to really just deliver every single thing that they want what i had to do was i had to do all the measurements so i measured on my own sweatpants the um, width that i wanted of the designs i had to measure where i wanted the embroidery to be on the sweatshirt i had to measure how wide i wanted the design to be on the t-shirt so every single nitty-gritty thing that you never think about you really have to do that and it is a long process, but it's so worth it at the end, right? It's so freaking crazy to see your design come to real life, and I don't even know how to explain that feeling. So like I said, it was not the best for me to pick the company that I did pick for the manufacturing because they did not do all the things that I needed them to do, and they kind of took my money. That's another story, but I had to basically do the sweatpants on my own because I had a photo shoot that I delayed three times and I just had to get it out there because I couldn't wait any longer on them. So I ended up using a Cricut machine. I had to buy this in literally short notice. I had to use everything on myself. I had to learn everything on my own. I had to just do everything very, very quickly. So here are some clips from that. You guys, I look so sweaty and gross. I just came back from like a eight hour school day but basically i had to get the cricket machine the heat press like all of those freaking ingredients to um do the pants and everything by myself do all the designs by myself because basically the company that i use the manufacturer bailed on me paid a lot of money for the sweatpants they had my designs for over two months they told me last minute that they couldn't produce it. And basically now I have to like take things into my own hands because my photo shoot is in two days and I figured that I might as well do something because I can't keep freaking complaining and waiting around anymore. So this is my first time using a Cricut machine and anything like that in general. I've never like printed my own designs on things like this. So yeah, I'm scared but I watched one YouTube, two YouTube videos, so I'm gonna do some unboxing now. This Cricut machine was actually really great. It was a huge learning curve to learn all of this within the same day, basically. So it took me seven hours to do just three sweatpants. And since I wasn't expecting to do my first designs ever, on a Cricut machine, it did not come out exactly how I wanted the designs to come out. So if you guys see my sweatpants that are coming out soon, those aren't the accurate designs that I want it to be. I'm currently in the process of getting another manufacturer to help me with that. I give so many props to people that are able to actually use Cricut machines because it is not that easy, especially if your design is more intricate. When you get all of your products back, you're probably so happy, you're over the moon because you finally got all the designs that you've been waiting for for so long, right? And it's gonna be such an amazing feeling to actually see it in person. Make sure you do an inventory check to make sure you get everything. I did that and they were actually missing several pieces so I had to reach out to them again. So at this point, you just have to buy shipping materials and just 
think of a collection name and think of all of like the many details that you couldn't really think about while you were drawing and designing and finding manufacturers. So this is like the, the fun part of actually, you know, planning the, the details. Please stay tuned for my new release. Like I said, I worked months and months on it and it's not an easy process. So please check it out when it comes out. It's going to be on labyrinthab.com. This is also from my last and first collection from August of 2020. So if you want to get it, if you want to get something Bangladesh related, look at that. Um, please follow me on my all my socials. I'm labyrinthab on TikTok and Instagram and everything else. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I love you guys and I hope you guys have a great week.